Hi there! In the previous section, we saw how to effectively scale Socket I.O. across multiple nodes using Redis and the Socket I.O. Redis NPM module. This is Section 7, Streaming Binary Data. In this section, we'll look at broadcasting an image to other sockets. After that, we'll upload an image to the file system and then to Amazon S3. We'll then learn to stream audio, and finally, we'll see how to stream live video. This is Video 1, which is named as Broadcasting an Image to Other Sockets. In this video, we will demonstrate how we can pipe an image from our file system to the browser over WebSockets. Then we'll add a delay to see how images load. Typically, the SRC attribute for an HTML image tag will be a link to the location of the image. However, instead of a link to the image, we can actually provide the binary data for the image itself. This ability allows us to store and load actual images and not just the link to the image location. In this video, we'll use a static image called woodchuck.jpg to pipe into the browser. It is located at the root of the app along with the server.js and the index.html files. As you can see, I've created a folder called Section 7, and under that folder, another one called Broadcasting. The image and the other files are all located here. You should be able to put any image that you want to use in that location, as long as you reference the correct image in your server code. As new chunks of the image are read, they will be emitted to the browser using the image chunk event. So, how do we broadcast images over Socket.io? First, we will create our server.js file. This file will wait for the socket connection event and immediately begin to read the image by creating a read stream using the built-in FS module that comes with Node. When a user connects to our server, we immediately begin to read the contents of the image file using a read stream. This allows us to emit parts of the image as they are read instead of emitting it all at once. This means the image will load progressively as the data is chunked. Now we need to create an index.html page to render the image in pieces as data is chunked in. This is an SRC attribute for the HTML link tag, which will be linked to the image. Now, start your server and go to localhost 5000. The image will be rendered. Nice! If you view the element in your developer console, you should see that it is prefixed with data image slash JPEG base64 followed by a base64 encoded string. If you are on a fast connection, you may not notice that the image is loading in pieces. The best way to demonstrate that it is loading progressively is to set a timeout to delay the loading of each part of the image for a set amount of time. We'll modify the server.js code like so. Let me add another variable called delay with a default value of zero. We'll then create a function set timeout to set the delay. Okay, just let me save it. Now, if I start the server again and refresh the browser, you'll be able to see clearly that the image loads progressively in chunks. Great! We saw how to broadcast an image to other sockets in this video.